G'day, it's Mitch from Switchback LED Lighting here. Um, I just wanted to run through the differences between a reflector housing and a projector housing and what you can now do with the running LED globes in a reflector. Many people don't recommend this because it's bright, especially in four-wheel drives. Um, we don't recommend this because it blinds oncoming drivers. Projectors have a cutoff point. Reflectors do not have a cutoff point. I will uh, put a photo up of what I mean by that. Right now. So currently in this car, I've got um, our A10 series headlight globes. Um, I've been running them for a while. Uh, they're a H4 size. I've been running them for probably three months now to test. But they don't have a cutoff point. So because they don't have a cutoff point, I'm going to take them out and I'm going to test a new product. So. What I'll do is I'll pull these globes out and I've got the other ones. I'll show you the other ones first, I suppose. So this is gonna be hard to do with two hands. So these are our G11 series LED globes. These are H4 obviously as well. They've got this cool um, part four, this is built into the globe, it's a cut off. So these are gonna be perfect for a ref reflector housing like this. So it should cut off the top reflection, which is what um, kills the eyes of oncoming traffic. So we'll swap these out. I'll actually, before I do that, I've cleared a bit of wall here. What I'll do is one, put the window down so I can reach the stalk. So, flick the lights on. These are shining everywhere. There's no cutoff at all on here. You can see. If I sit over near the, next to the beam, we've got a dark spot up here. We've also got light spots up here for whatever reason, and we've got pretty much the direct beam down here. This part is what's blinding your oncoming traffic when you're driving towards them. So we're gonna swap these over and compare the cutoff points pretty much. I'll take a photo of this cutoff point and do a comparison of the two with these new globes in. I've swapped this, the driver side out. Passenger side still in. This is the old globe. It also has some sort of cut off type device that obviously doesn't work very well. Um, so, comparison. This is our comparison. So as you can see, on the driver's side, our beam cuts off now. Our beam cuts off. You've got straight beam across. Now if we go back to our other side, we've got light going everywhere still. That's a direct comparison of these two both very high quality globes. Our eight and a super high quality, but I'd argue, if I get that out of the way, it even looks brighter now. <laughs> um, yeah, yeah the, so our A10 are uh, a very high quality globe. They're perfect for reflector ha uh, projector housings. Um, they're the fisheye looking housings. Um, I will, you'll know what I'm talking about because I would have put a photo up already of both of them and what the beams should be, what the beams shouldn't be. So these are a perfect example 
of suitable globes that you'll be able to use in a reflector housing and not blind everyone coming your way. So I'm gonna swap the other side out now and we'll come back. So this is low beam. This is high beam. Low beam, high beam. Before uh, reflector versus projector. Uh, this is a set of headlights I've just recently completed for a customer. Uh, these are quad projector headlights. So our low beam on the left is a projector. Our high beam on the right is a projector. So basically, I've got a projector here. These I use for retrofits. So we've got our projector lens. Looks like a fisheye. Our globe goes in the back here. Inside our projector, we've got this little cutoff point. So if you were to use these projectors as low beam, where we need a cutoff point, such as these, uh, this low beam is standard, so I don't normally touch them at all. But a projector needs a cutoff point. So we've got a reflector bowl behind, behind there. Our globe goes into the reflector bowl, reflects off the reflector bowl, and the light output is out the lens here. Now for low beam, we've got a little solenoid flap there. For low beam, this stays up. This is our cutoff point, pretty much. So this cuts off any of the light that's going to reflect from the bottom of the reflector bowl in here. Um, when we get high beam, this is a different story. So we've got a positive and negative here. When it receives a positive 12 volt signal, the solenoid clicks in and flips our cutoff point down. So now there is no cutoff point. And when we go back to the low beam, it flicks back up. So this acts as our low beam, high beam. So you can retrofit these into um, the headlights that I, uh, at the start of the video, that we swapped over in that um, Rodeo. We could retrofit a projector in here, use our low high beam solenoid, which will switch low and high with the same bulb. So that's pretty much how a projector works. Because, um, because we were putting an LED into a reflector housing where it doesn't have that cutoff point, that's where our new LEDs come in handy because the cutoff point is built into the globe itself. So we're able to run them in a reflector housing now without blinding everybody everybody coming the other way and not getting flashed every minute of the day sorry every minute of the night once once it gets dark um, it can be can be blinding running LEDs in a reflector housing um, our, our a10 globes are perfect for this or this they're perfect for this um, because we've got a projector housing, we've got a cutoff built into the lens. So for instance, our high beam here, I would use one of these as I have in this set, but I remove that solenoid because it's not needed. High beam, we want it as bright as possible. We want, we want the brightest output we can. We don't need this, That's, this is just gonna prevent it. Um, Our low beams have the cutoff built in, so they have this cutoff point. It's actually a solid cutoff point rather than a solenoid, though, because our low beam and high beam are built into our housing there. So that pretty much wraps up the reflector versus projector um, sort of competition. When I say competition, I mean um, running... 
running aftermarket globes in reflector versus projector. They both can be done. Reflector, you just need to be careful on what you are putting into them as far as blinding other people. Whereas projector, that's fine. Put some LEDs in them, drop the beam down slightly because they often don't come aligned from factory. I've seen some that come straight out of the factory that are all, all wonky. So aim your lights down so they don't glare right in people's eyes and you're laughing. Uh, thanks for watching. Um, I'll catch you guys in the next video. Um, if you guys have any questions, let me know. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Thanks for that. Catch you later.